Senhores desta sala, licença, eu vou chegando. Eu vou mostrar meu Pernambuco com o coração cantando. Eu vou. Now meet a state of culture and festivals, exuberant nature, history and important economic center of Brazil. Pernambuco. Recife was founded in the year of 1537. Here, Portuguese, Africans and Indians have become one people. It was also in Recife that, in 1630, the Dutch arrived and with them also came the first Jewish community of the Americas. Recife is a political and cultural melting pot it's an important technology, business and trade center. It has excellent hotels and the second best medical treatment center in the whole country. It's home to the beautiful Boa Viagem Beach, which has the fine gastronomy and a busy nightlife. It is the land of the Instituto Ricardo Brenan, a trip to medieval times. Also, the Museum of Francisco Brenan, Recife of the Multicultural Carnival and the world's largest parade. Galo da Madrugada. Olinda is the most Portuguese of all the cities of Pernambuco. Narrow streets, up and down the hill, historic houses and a large concentration of religious buildings. A world heritage site. Olinda is the home of inspiration of famous artists and craftsmen who make up the culture of Pernambuco. It houses the Convention Center of Pernambuco, which is the largest convention center in the state. During Carnival, Olinda becomes a collection of rhythms, colors and costumes. This is Porto de Galinhas, located on the south coast of the state. With its tide pools, it has been voted the most beautiful beach in Brazil because of its hotels, bars and restaurants nearby. On the quiet beach of Muro Alto, there are the best resorts of Pernambuco. Maracaipe is the surfing spot and also a place for enjoying nightlife. A few miles north of Recife, we will find mangroves and historic buildings. In the beaches of Maria Farinha and Itamaracá, the calm waters are great for water sports. For diving lovers, there are 20 shipwrecks along the coast of Pernambuco, an unforgettable trip through the history of navigation in Brazil. The archipelago of Fernando de Noronha's greatest asset is its marine park. It is considered one of the best places for diving, with water visibility of up to 50 meters. Dolphins are another attraction. The archipelago also has a Tamar Project Base, a national project created to protect sea turtles. Zona da Mata is the birthplace of maracatu and caboclinhos. Many secular mills have been restored and converted into inns, where visitors can experience the history of colonial Brazil and the peace of the countryside. Cities such as Gravata and Garanhuns are very popular during winter, offering charming hotels and inns, as well as fine restaurants, besides cultural events that attract thousands of tourists. The city of Caruaru hosts the largest June festival of the world. Here, craftsmen mold the clay into typical characters of the northeast of Brazil. The cities of Bezeus and Belo Jardim are other important craftwork centers. The city of Fazenda Nova has the passion in the largest outdoor theater in the world. The people of the back country are resilient and keep strong cultural traditions. There is a yearly calendar of cultural events and tourist attractions ranging from archaeological sites to water sports and excursions to idyllic San Francisco River, which has several islands and also the largest artificial lake in the world, Sobradinho. This is Pernambuco. Come visit, experience and fall in love with this land. Pernambuco is ready for you. Come.